Hey everyone, welcome back for an all new Cookie Run Kingdom episode. So we're going to talk about the ranking of all cookies by position. But before that, if you want an updated Cookie Run Kingdom content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, so we'll start off with uh, the rear cookies with our rank 16 cookie, which is Beat Cookie. So she is a common cookie um, ranged and for her skill, she actually just deals 60% damage from afar. So her skill is called Hunter Sense and it has a 12 second cooldown for that skill. At rank 15 for the rear cookies is Angel Cookie. So specialty is of healing and when you take, out her, uh, take a look at her skill, so Celestial Light cooldown is at 15 seconds. It's actually just a pure healing spell uh, of 50% of her own attack. Now to our rank 14 cookie, we have here Clover Cookie. So Clover Cookie is a rare type of cookie. Um, she is of, of support type and for her skill, she removes all the buffs from party members uh, and applying a buff that restores HP. So basically, um, she she removes buffs, uh, she, she removes debuffs from your party, and also gives them buffs. Okay, so healing, uh, twelve percent of attack for every one second over five seconds of heal. So although impressive, um, her heal is not that long. So she's placed at number fourteen. So at number thirteen, we have here Blackberry Cookie. She is of rare variant and. Um, she is actually of magic type so let's look take a look at her skill so her skill is basically rushes through the enemy formation and increases the party's critical strike chance so deals damage as well at 17 percent and a 10 percent crit chance for six seconds again most of these cookies are actually good but there are better cookies actually um right in front of them Okay, for our rank 12 cookie, we have Gumball Cookie. Gumball Cookie is of rare variety and his class is a bomber class. So bomber class is mostly, um, um, what do you call this? Uh, shooting out AOE damage on the battlefield. So let's take a look at his uh, skill. So it's artillery. So basically for artillery causes area damage and decreases the enemy's moving speed so it slows them down slows down their 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 advance and uh, i don't think it slows their attack speed but it slows them down going towards you so uh, damage dealt is at 264 percent and a minus 20 percent on attack speed for 60 seconds i'm i stand corrected it actually decreases their attack speed for six seconds and the cooldown of the spell is at 13 seconds that is why he is actually at rank 12. so for our rank 11 rear cookie we have here a uh, pancake cookie who is a again a rare cookie um style of play is actually ambush and let's take a look at his uh, skill so take an acorn cooldown is at 15 seconds so flies towards flies forward and um, throws acorns for a wide area uh, damage and increases party's attack speed damage dealt is 40 percent plus 20 percent attack speed for six seconds again again um gives buffs and deals aoe damage ambushes because she come uh, he comes from the back or from the rear of the party so for our rank 10 we have here um, sparkling cookie so sparkling cookie is of epic variety so he is also of healing and let's take a look at his skill so it's sparkling cocktail cooldown of 13 seconds so basically heals two allies with the lowest hp and increases critical strike chance okay he only heals two allies uh, with the lowest hp and usually um, he gives them as well critical chance so healing of 139 percent of his attack so skills with his attack going up so for our rank ninth uh cookie we have here mint choco cookie he is actually of epic variety uh more or less he is actually of a support for the rear 
and let's take a look at his skills so basically he just heals HP of the squad and uh, increases their attack speed as well so that is what he is for um again um these cookies are basically um weighed because of the numerous uh what they call the numerous um the numerous uh lines or abilities within their skill that is why actually he is at ninth because attack speed is also good and the healing of 79% is also good. So for our ranked 8 for the rear cookies, we have here Cherry Cookie. She is a rare variety. She is actually a bomber, so she actually shoots AoE, uh, uh, shoots from the rear uh, for AoE damage to the enemies up front. So she her skill is actually huge Cherry Bomb. It has a cooldown of 16 seconds. Uh, and more or less, if you can, you know, read between the lines. So she deals area damage and stuns enemy for two seconds. Actually, the stun here is actually valuable that um, she is actually just second to Tiger Lily Cookie in terms of stun. They're the only two cookies that have stun so far in this game. So for our ranked seven for the rear cookies, we have here Pomegranate Cookie. So she is support type and let us see her skill. So it's called Pomegranate. So basically what she does is heals HP over time for a whole squad and increases the attack power as well. So this is good uh, in also support and also to increase their attack skill. So she is now placed at rank 7 for the rear cookies. So for our rank 6 cookie for the rear cookies, we have a Vampire Cookie, which is of Ambush type. And let us take a look at his uh, skills. So it's called Vampirism. Uh, skill cooldown is at 13 seconds. So what he basically does is he turns into a bat and attacks the furthest enemy restores some HP for each regular attack that he does. So he's basically a, a specialist which looks after or goes after the weakest or the furthest enemy at the back and goes in for the kill. At the same time, gains HP once he deals damage to that opponent. He is actually placed right now at uh, or he is ranked at number 6. So we're actually right now in the top 5. So this is Rai Cookie. He is actually our ranked 5th for the rear cookies. So he is of epic um, class. And in terms of type, he is of range type cookie. And also for his skill, it's called final showdown. So the cooldown is 15 seconds. So shoots at the enemy with the lowest max HP several times and increases his attack speed so basically he's 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 similar to 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 vampire uh cookie uh but he actually does this from afar and shoots the the furthest um cookie at the back and he increases his, his attack speed he's like more or less an assassin from beyond but more more of a multiple shot assassin for the cookie so he is now at rank five so for our ranked fourth cookie, we have here Custard Cookie the third. So he is the king of the cookies. So he is of rare variety. He is also of healing. And what he does, let's check, let's check out his skills. So his skill is King's Favor. So cooldown is 16 seconds. So basically what he does is heals two cookies with the lowest HP and also casts a barrier for those cookies. But it doesn't, you know, it doesn't stay that long. But it's actually okay because he supports the two lowest uh, HP of your cookies in your team. He's actually one of one of the cookies that I've used for quite a while, um, for about more than a week until I got er uh, Herb Cookie. But actually, he is still a good healing cookie with heals and also HP for his um, his uh, teammates. And uh, I would actually recommend if you have him, try to use him while you don't have Herb Cookie. So for our third ranked uh, cookie in the rear, we have here 
cream puff cookie so she is of epic and she is of support type she's actually the recent uh cookie that dropped uh, uh after the update so she can be found or she can be um she can be acquired through the guild there's a gotcha for the guild so you have to grind that down to get more tokens for the gotcha for the guild and uh, she's only available through that but as for her skill so she basically deals damage over time in a large area and restores parties hp so while she's doing damage she actually heals your party so she's actually good she's a good support um the only problem with her is that her cooldown is at 18 seconds so it takes a while for her to 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 go around for another heal and another attack but she actually deals good damage and he, he uh, she also deals good heal at 40 percent of attack so yeah just have to scale her attack up so for our second rank cookie for the rear we have tiger lily cookie so she's an epic so she's of ranged uh, uh variety or or class um but one good thing about tiger lily cookie is of her skills i've been using her for quite a while actually i'm i'm still using her right now for most of uh, most of um the pve content because i find that she actually is good in mobs for her skill because her skill is basically charges forward causing damage to a nearby enemies and stunning them she actually rides a tiger a butter tiger to do this and stuns them uh basically the stun is for three seconds and also increases her attack speed for 10 seconds so this is actually what makes her good she actually attacks from the rear but on some occasions she jumps to the front to stun um the enemies on the front so this is actually good she's actually very good in terms of holding your opponents for three seconds um again she's the top um she she is the top in stunts because of the three second duration and also of what she does as a range attacker and also for her attack speed uh for 10 seconds and for our number one rank cookie for the rear we have here herb cookie so herb cookie is of epic uh, type so he is actually of healing as well and let's take a look at uh, his heals so there's a lot of hype actually uh, around herb cookie i just recently used them uh, again i was using um, custard cookie before but when i actually use him i see why he's that good so his his skill is more on healing when standing near sprouts and removes all debuffs for your team okay so it's called sunny garden it just has a cooldown of 17 seconds but again as long as they're there near um near the what do you call this near the ground where the where, where there are some what do you call this some sprouts they will actually be healed so they t he turns the ground into a wonderful little garden removing all the buffs and storing some hp for the whole party so standing near sprouts and restores hp so basically you can scale his healing um when you increase his attack so his healing is actually pretty much good 30 percent every one second over five seconds when standing near sprouts so all uh purify all debuffs as well so this is actually very good for him and he's really a great support for your team so far he is actually the best healer the second would be probably be uh a custard cookie and the rest of the cookies would you know be uh at the back of them you could actually use both herb cookie and custard cookie in your lineup it's actually good um this would entail a different type of lineup like damage over time and probably a defensive front so basically herb cookie right now is tops among rear cookies okay so we're going to start now with our middle position cookies with wizard cookie who is ranked 12 for the middle cookies so wizard cookie is actually of common variety so he is actually of magic class 
and let's take a look at his skills so his skills is simply a damage um, dealt with a this is actually a magic lightning storm that moves forward dealing damage over time to all enemies within range so it's it, it looks like a circle that deals damage over time so that is how simple his damage is so he is placed at rank 12. so for our rank uh, 11 for the middle cookies we have here ninja cookie so ninja cookie is basically uh an assassin because he is of ambush class so let's take a look at his skills so his skills is swift strike so cooldown of 11 seconds jumps in the air throwing shuriken twice causing a small area damage so damage dealt so again he is of ambush class and this is just what he does he does um, um, damage with a small area that is why he's placed at rank 11 for the middle placed cookies okay for our rank 10th cookie we have onion cookie the onion cookie is of rare variety she is of support and she is actually the cookie that doesn't perform any regular attacks so basically what she does is lowers enemies attack power so that is actually what she does and um, the higher the fear level the more power for the skill so she is placed at uh, rank 10 for the middle placed cookies so for our rank 9 for the middle cookies we have adventure cookie who is of a rare variety and uh, who is also of ambush class for his uh, skills we have here rope master cooldown is at 12 seconds so basically what he does is appears behind the fastest enemy and attacks uh, then incapacitates them so damage dealt is 410 percent so and shackles them for four seconds so more or less they cannot probably move for this one um and they stay where they are so so for our rank eighth for the middle cookies we have here alchemist cookie she is of rare variety and of a bomber class so again bomber class is more on um shooting aoe uh, range towards um the enemies on the battlefield so for her skill she has unstable formula so for alchemist cookie she has a poison damage over time damage the higher the stage the wider the the higher the stage the wider and the greater the effect so that is actually her skill the problem with her is that she actually takes a lot of time in terms of cooldown and i've seen her in action she's a bit on the slow side and um uh, for me, I think there is a better cookie to do poison damage over time for the enemies. So for our rank 7, for the middle cookies, we have here Carrot Cookie. So she is a rare um, variant and she is of a support class. Let's take a look at her skills. So for her skills, it's called Carrot Harvest. So 19 seconds cooldown. So what she does is shoots an area damage carrots and increases the party's defense restores hp for each card collected as well so she doubles as an attacker and also as a healer um as long as you pick up the carrots that have been and also she increases the party's defense as well okay so as long as you collect the cards again that she dropped then uh she can restore some of the hp so this is uh, she's actually a good cookie um to bring um the problem with her again is her cooldown so a cooldown of 19 seconds but she is good enough if you ha don't have better cookies to put um in the middle part of your team okay for the rank six for the middle cookies we have here um the of epic class uh, chili pepper cookie she's actually of um, uh, she is actually the skill of ambush and let's take a look at her skills so she's basically um uh, uh her skill is called cheap shot so causes areas damage to the mo to the rearmost with four strikes so the final strike is always a critical damage strike so deals 52 percent damage so she's actually again an assassin 
um, aim to take out the rear. So she's good because um, I tried to use her before in terms of reaching the farthest cookie that you have in the rear for their enemies. She can actually deal damage and take them out um, if your other team members cannot take those cookies out. So for her, she is at rank 6 for the middle placed cookies. So here we go with our top 5. So starting with rank 5, Snow Sugar Cookie. So she's of epic type and she is of magic class. So in terms of her skill, so it's called Blizzard. So cooldown is a bit long for 20 seconds. But she actually summons a Snow King that causes a snowstorm dealing air damage over time. And frozen enemies suffer from lower attack speed. So again, um, she summons a big snow king uh, with 50% attack, 125% defense, and 150% HP. But also that snow king deals damage and, uh, and gives attack speed reduction of minus 25% for 0 0.5 seconds. So for our rank 4 cookie, we have here Latte Cookie. So she is actually a new cookie that dropped as well in the new update. So in terms of um, type, she is of Epic. And for class, she is of Magic class. Let's take a look at her skills. So Care for a Latte, that's her skill. So cooldown is 15 seconds. So conjures a Glyph, attracting enemies to its center and deals damage... Uh, and, and, and dealing damage and silence. Okay, so draws every every enemy to the center, dealing damage as you go near the center. Actually, you you there's already the damage dealt uh, at the outside, but as as your enemies um, go towards the center, the damage is actually greater and actually it it uh, it uh, gives them silence as well. Okay, so damage over time and the greater damage in the center. That is why she is so good at rank 4. So for our rank 3 middle cookie, we have here Poison Mushroom Cookie. So she's, she's of epic type and she is of a bomber class. Um, this is actually, I'm going to say this, that she is um, the top poison damage over time dealer for this game. I've seen how very potent she is in the game and in, in terms of her poison damage. So uh, she gives poison damage over time over a large area and actually her range is also far. So she could really do so much damage as the enemy cookies run towards your front liners. So basically she's very good. Um, I've seen her with the team. That is pretty much very defensive and she does a lot of damage. Again, you put her with two healers or with even with one healer but with a good frontline team. Um, she is actually going to shine as your main damage dealer. Um, all you have to do is make sure that she survives. And her cooldown for skill for Poison Cloud is not bad as well at 15 seconds. Um, if, you got, if you have her guys, you use her for your middle placed cookies okay for our second rank cookie for the middle we have here one of the stars of the game which is Expre uh, espresso cookie so she's of epic type and she is of magic class so i'll show you guys why she is very very good so she actually conjures up a giant uh whirlwind area of damage and pulls the enemy towards the center so the big the uh, and the 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 final burst damage is the biggest. So and also once the once she deals the final burst damage, it also interrupts skills of your enemies. So that's how good she is. She actually pulls them very, very, you know, very strong towards the center. That actually you can delay your opponents charging you. And she is actually very good in terms of defense, offense. Um, very, very all around uh, cookie for the middle middle um, type. So I would suggest if you know if you didn't have a chance to get her in her banner, try to get her for your team for the mileage. Um, she's very good. I already have her three star. I actually got her um, from the banner, and she has been in my team ever since. One of the best cookies 
as a middle placed cookie. Okay, for our top cookie for the middle, we have here Licorice Cookie. So he's of epic type and he is of magic class for the middle. So why is this guy so great? Okay, I'll tell you this. I'm going to show you his skills and from this far, he, he really has three skills in, sorry, three abilities in this skill. So summons a black line that deals damage, that's one, and summons servants as well to fight for him, and also increases your party's defense by 20. So that is how great Licorice Cookie is. So not that bad as well. He has a 14 second cooldown for this skill. So he is actually one of the top, if not the top cookie for the middle placed cookies. So um, if you have Licorice, play him even if, if you don't have that much copies. He is actually a very good support that is very all around. You pair him with, for example, Espresso Cookie. Um, they will actually give your, uh, you know, give your enemies a headache. But again, he's one of the top because of number one, a, uh, a short cooldown for his skill and three abilities for his spell alone. So that is why Licorice Cookie is our top ranked middle placed cookie. Hey guys, so we're actually near the end of this video. Last but not the least, we have here the front uh, placed cookies. So we start with our number 12th rank cookie, which is Strawberry Cookie. So he's of common type and he is of defense class. Let's check out his, uh, her, what do you call this? Her skill. So it's don't come near. So cooldown is a bit good, but it only deals 21% damage. That is why she is at 12th ranked for the uh, front placed cookies. So here we have our 11th ranked front based cookie. So we have here muscle cookie. So he is of common type and he uh, he is of charge class. Let's take a look at his uh, skills. So he is actually uh, he has actually muscle king power with a cooldown of 10 seconds. But again, he does only deal 81% damage for his skill. That is why he's placed at number 11 for your front placed cookies. So for our 10th rank front placed cookies, we have here the leading man of uh, Cookie Run Kingdom, which is Ginger Brave. So Ginger Brave is actually a common cookie. He is uh, of, ch he has a charge ability, uh, charge class, sorry. And for his skill, so dashes forward and deals area damage to all enemies in his way. So dealing 150% damage. So um, of all the common cookies for the front, he is actually of the of uh, she's he is actually the best. But unfortunately, this is only what he does. So that is why he's placed at number 10 for our front placed cookies. So for our ninth placed cookie for the front, we have here purple yam cookie he is of epic type and of charge class so for the front so for his skill so it's called purple tornado 12 seconds so basically it just does um area damage area damage over time so damage is 54 percent um not really a good cookie of uh, only deals damage um but it is only good because of its cooldown of 12 seconds. That is why he is in number 9 for our front placed cookies. So for our 8th rank cookie for the front, we have here Madeline Cookie, who is of epic type and of defense class. Let's go to her skills. So basically what she does is she has immune, she is actually immune to buffs for her skill. Retor uh, restores own HP and does range attacks for the duration of the skill. So she actually does buffs to herself, immunity, and deals a lot, deals a great damage. But usually, the expectation for the front cookies, they should actually be the ones to protect the other cookies, not just protect themselves. So for our seventh ranked cookie for the front, we have here Avocado Cookie. So he's a rare type. 
and of defense class. For a while, I actually was using him and I think he was great as well, but there are better cookies right in front of him. But for his skill, we have here um, battle uh, smithing, so cooldown of 13 seconds. So deals area damage, increases attack power with cookie of the highest attack power. Okay, so increases attack power of the cookie with again with the highest attack power. So it only gives buffs to one specific cookie, um, but he does have an area damage for his attack. Um, again, he he actually sustained me for a time, but there are actually better cookies. That is why he is actually placed at rank seven for the front placed cookies. And for our sixth rank cookie in the front, we have here Knight Cookie. So he is a rare type and he is of defense um, defense class. Okay, so let's take a look at his um, skill. So it's Cavalry Charge. So it has a 13 second uh, cooldown. So what it does is charges forward causing area damage and taunts enemies. This is actually good because he is one of the one of two cookies who has taunt but he only has taunt for three seconds the other one i'll share with you later for our top cookies so again he's very good um he's a very good starter cookie for the front so you might as well use him while you don't have if you don't have any other good cookies so for our top five we have here rank fifth we have princess cookie so princess cookie is of a rare type and his uh her ability is charge so basically for her skill is royal swing so basically for royal swing it deals area damage and decreases the enemy's defense by 15 percent again um there is another one, uh, another cookie in front of her that actually decreases defense. And they they are the only two that decreases defense of the cookies in front of them. So she's very good. She deals damage and she de decreases the defense by 15% for 6 seconds. That is why she is 5th rank of the front placed cookies. So for our 4th rank cookie for the front, we have here Werewolf Cookie who is of epic type and he is also of charge um uh, charge class so basically for her uh, for for his skill it's called transformation so what it does is takes his wolf form causing area damage in uh, wolf form he has increased hp as well and has a more powerful double strike regular attack so basically he is there at the front to deal massive damage to clear the way and to be a tank more or less um, and probably bulldoze the opponents on the other side so he is actually there because of his high damage output and also his skill is has only a cooldown of 11 seconds so for our third rank cookie in the front so we have here Kumio Cookie, who was actually featured in one of the events recently so she's of epic type and she is of charge class so let's take a look at her skill so her skill is called somersault which has a cooldown of 14 seconds so she transforms into a cookie causing so she starts out as a fox and transforms into a cookie causing areas air, air damage and charming nearby enemies so seduction bonus damage during transformation so I actually have seen her in action. I haven't used her yet, um, but I think she has some utility in terms of her seduction, and the bonus damage during during transformation is also good. So that is why she is now at rank third for our front based cookies. So for our second rank cookie for the front, um, more or less these two, including the first. Um, they can be switched, you know, wh whether first or second. So, but for me, um, Dark Choco Cookie is at second. He is actually of epic type and he is also of charge class. So in terms of his uh, skills, so it's Sword of Darkness. 
So what it does is inflicts a chain lighting on enemies that has lower defense by 20%. So this is the guy that lowers the enemy's defense by 20%. That is why he is actually very, very good. And he is actually he's going to obliterate the, your front enemies as long as he survives. So very high damage. Damage dealt is at 340, uh, 44.7%. That's because he is already leveled up. But actually he has high damage for a front uh, charge cookie. And we go now to our number one. So for our top cookie for the front, we have here Milk Cookie, who is an epic type and of defense class. Again, um, if you can see the trend in terms of skill, um, most of the top cookies have different abilities in one skill. So again, Milk Chocolate, uh, Milk Cookie is actually no different because he stands in the for in form of a line causing area damage taunts enemies okay so while the skill is active milk cookies divine milk shield decreases incoming damage as well so very good in terms of um, mitigating damage very good in taunting your enemies and uh, overall a very good defensive line for your team so basically for 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 milk cookie he is one of the top if not the top cookie again he may be interchanged with uh, with with the uh, dark choco cookie but actually he is there because i chose him at number one because number one um the main the main uh, function of the front is to protect the back and the middle or the rear in the middle and he does it very you know he, he he's very good at it decreasing decreasing damage of the enemies and also taunting them and he, he actually has won a lot of games for me uh, when I got him um, together with Dark Choco Cookie in the front. Okay, so basically, guys, that is the ranking that I have for all of the cookies that we have. You can actually um, check your lineups now, um, which cookies you have, which is better than the other. Again, this is just my opinion, guys. So... Please bear with me. If you have any comments on the video, please put down put them down below. Also, guys, keep safe. This is the warden, and I'm out.